Okay, I started to lay out your cards, Aries, and I had it too much of a tilt, so it fell. So I'll have to keep it at this level. So hopefully it, it will not fall. <laughs> and you can see your cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine cards okay so i'll have to keep it right there so it doesn't fall okay aries this is your december reading 2017 and we have major arcanas let's see we have the judgment card and we have the emperor card okay so let's see what can I say about that first before we start the reading? Something I found out as I study the cards. The judgment card is in the spiritual plane. So I guess there's three planes uh, in the uh, four planes. The fool is the, is the, uh, the journey begins with the fool. And the judgment card is in the spiritual plane. Now, let's see, the Emperor card is in the practical plane. So I, I want to do a video on that because I find that very interesting. It's like stages, levels. Okay, so let's go on with the reading. So your first card is the Knight of Swords for December 2017, the message of the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords... As you're closing out this year, you're finding yourself in a need to still defend yourself. All right, and just because it's a holiday time doesn't mean that anything changes. We still have to deal with our life, our experiences. So this card talks about being brave, being skillful, being a warrior, being capable to meet whatever challenges you may have. We have the flowers here representing peace. Your shield is not completely up, Aries, because you really don't want to fight. You just want to enjoy the holidays. So remember that you still, it's not the holidays for everyone. It's not a time to reflect for others, even though we should do that all year. But this card is reminding you that this year, at the end of the year, you'll still have to put up a fight. You still have challenges, okay? You're probably still working on a goal. So this is a general reading, right? So it's going to apply to some Aries, right? So for some of you with the Eight of Coins, you are working on yourself. You are bettering yourself with this Eight of Coins. The Coins is an earth energy, an earth element. And... I like to think of eight in, in numerology as we know it as infinity, right? So whatever it is that you're thinking about, you're probably having a hard time with letting yourself relax, let go of um, anything that you feel might be holding you down, someone that is your boss or someone that you have to answer to. It could be stressful situations like that. However, you're still trying to better yourself working on yourself, right? Then you have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is a, is a king that is good with words. It's good with communication. So choosing your words carefully, especially when you're dealing with someone that is your authority figure, would be a good advice. As much as you like to be your own boss or... Um, be in control of of things you still have to answer to someone after all this is how we all learn and choosing to uh, know when to use your power and when not to use your power and a lot of listening will help you to mature into the person that you think you are now but there's still more learning uh, to do to become that eight of staves <laughs> that fell through the <laughs> whoops this one has a strong message that was fast 
So the eight of staves is all about things moving quickly. Eight of rods, eight of wands. And this, are, this talks about um, wishing for things, hoping for things to happen, right? That energy of, of success, of goals, and, and, and um, you want it to happen fast, right? Things move quickly. Things might be uh, coming to, to, to you quickly, but in this reading, it's like you want to achieve that king status, the king of swords. You want to, to be a manager. You want to feel like you have arrived but uh, the journey is the arrival at each different level where you are so just remember that the journey is the arrival and you know are you starting over what are you doing that is causing you to feel like hey I am not where I need to be so maybe that needs to be looked at okay then we have the judgment card a major arcana right the judgment card deals in the spiritual uh world the spiritual plane because someone can you or someone else can do something negative in this real world that we call the real world and there might be justice there might not be any there there might be judgment and there might not be it's very deep right these cards could go on and on very deep real conversations So what's the purpose in this world, in the universe, right? What's your awareness to everything that's going on? What looks like judgment to you? What do you consider not to be a matter of judgment just because it doesn't affect you? So how are you seeing your world? How do you act in your world? How do you feel about your pain? Do you consider others pain? So this judgment card is... is is maybe you've had a really bad experience that made you kind of um, level up where you realize hey I haven't been thinking like this and uh, now that I've experienced something now I'm thinking a little bit differently uh, maybe now I'm more compassionate maybe now I'm aware may you know so something has to happen to you for you to be affected and not in all cases but this judgment card is, is definitely having you thinking spiritually about where you are, where you want to be, and what affects you. The Eight of Swords is about bondage, right? Continuous bondage. If you look at the numerology of eight, it's a continuous bondage that we put on ourselves, right? And so right now, what are you feeling like you are tied to? And what do you feel like you don't want to be tied to? The three of coins is the work you hope to get, the work you are receiving, and how committed you can be to it. So a personal reading would, t would tailor to you as an, as an Aries because the time that you were born, uh, and I'm studying this in energy work, that I'm always learning about energy work. And um, in one class that I'm taking, it's so amazing how it's talking about so many different cultures have um, numerology, a type, their own type of numerology, right? So this one is um, more based in the Chinese tradition. And the time that you were born is very powerful, right? So it made me think, I'm like, yeah, astrology. So your, your, how, how you can stay focused, how you can channel your energy from your Dantin, how you uh, can heal yourself um, or, or empower yourself, connecting to your chi, right? So that you can manifest that work to come in, right? So how open are you to receiving information so that you can be the better you? So even though this is a general reading, I always say a personal reading is better because then it will be tailored to your work, okay, and your personality and why things are happening. What are you not doing, right? So the magic is in the physical world of action. So that, that's the magic is the action of everything. So this three of coins is showing you that this person is receiving work. So if you're in a position and you're in Aries and you're like, I'm not really receiving the work I want, then what, what can be tweaked, what can be changed? But this is about receiving the work that you want. And for some of you, you might be in the place that you really want to be, 
or you um, might not be in the place where you want to be, but you still have the work, okay? Now we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about focusing your intent now. See this work card now? Focus in your intent on the kind of work that you want. What's the kind of work that you want? Right? Are you distracted? How good are you at keeping focus? Do you need someone to motivate you? Are your friends too busy? Do you need a life coach to motivate you? What do you need to um, get you going? Someone to check in on you every day of the week, maybe two days, two weeks later, um, a week later, and then finally four weeks later. Where are you with this goal? So sometimes we need that and we can't find it in, in a friend. We have to actually hire someone to do that. So, and for the powerful signs, the fire signs, and, and sometimes for Scorpios and people with Scorpio rising, uh, someone with an earth sign or earth side rising or a fire sign rising, it's hard for them to ask for help because their, their chart is so dominant. They're so strong and proud and and uh, powerful and that's great but there's power in asking for help so this december how can you clean house in your mind this is for all the signs how can you clean house in your mind right now you have the emperor card the emperor card i need to write this clearer but the emperor card is in the the practical plane right so this makes sense to me when i found these four um these three planes, um, fool, the fool being the beginning of the journey, is that the, the Emperor card reminds me a lot of qualities in Aries, where they'll plan ahead. They'll have three or four plans in case the first one doesn't work out. So if you happen to be a weaker Aries, and a lack of a better word, less fire, right? But um, if you compare yourself and you go, wow, that person's an Aries like me, but they're not like me. They're more powerful, you know. I'm, you know, I have a different personality that's that's not really um, getting things done, okay. So this is the Emperor card. And, and how do you get to the Emperor card? So you just start working on yourself to get to that point where you can feel powerful from within. So, I wanted to keep December very, I wanted to add more to this video, but at the same time, I also need to prep for the yearly video where I pull 12 cards. And um, I'm thinking of how I'll be filming that and, and um, a video for everyone where I'll actually get on camera and do a, a beginning message to everyone. And then lay out lay out the cards uh, those videos usually get a lot of hits New Year's people even if they're not avid uh, tarot fans they are on there <laughs> you know checking it out so uh, don't forget to check me out on Facebook and uh, I hope your your uh, November is going well and uh, yeah I'm gonna upload these uh, New Year videos or December video and uh, get ready for December's reading all right thank you guys so much for watching liking it sharing the videos it truly means a lot uh, there's so many tarot readers on I think um, this channel started in 2010 and uh, I, I, wa I waited so long to start it and uh, I'm happy I did it's such a wonderful experience. Um, 2010 was a fun year starting up. And I thank you all for being with me this long. If you've been watching me since I've started, please leave a comment. I would love to see that. All right. And uh, I will see you guys uh, for your yearly uh, reading. All right. Let me see if you can see all the cards. Give you a little better view. All right. I will see you guys next time. Peace.